Hi, this is Dusty Rams Bottom with Fat City Entertainment. I want to show you guys how I like to print my bingo cards. So you can see I've got one of my games here, uh, Cover Tunes, uh, and I'm running low. I've only got uh, four or five here left, so I'm going to uh, make a nice big stack, get ready for our next show. Um, you can see I've got some other ones here. I've got a whole bunch of different cards. I've got nicknames and antonyms and 80s hair bands. All the fun stuff is here, but I got to keep make sure that all my games are printed really nicely and I'm going to show you the best way to do some printing today. So I've got my computer, I've got my printer here. You can also do this at Staples or FedEx. Uh, they're great. They also have free uh, slicing mechanisms at FedEx and Staples that I recommend going and using too. But, you know, I was doing so many shows uh, with music bingo and everything's been going great. So I bought my own. Honestly, this was like $20, maybe not even that, off Amazon and definitely does the trick. So I just cut it all at home now. But if you don't want to even pay for that, just go to FedEx. They've got the nice industrial ones. They slice really nice there. So. I have downloaded uh, my PDF from my covered tunes off FatCityEntertainment.com. Um, now that I've got my PDF ready to go, I'm going to open it up. And what I actually do, you can see that there's a little bit different size from this one to that one. So if you just print and cut, you're going to get something more like this, which is a little bit small. My daubers make a nice big circle. Um, this is, these are still nice cards but I actually maximized the space that I can get out of one uh, piece of regular paper. So I buy colored paper. You can see over here that, uh, you can pan over here, there, dark. Uh, I've got pink and red and I've got green. And uh, so I'm gonna make sure that I've got some green paper in there. I've still got some, perfect. In my printer. Do I want to change the settings? No. Okay, so I open it up. Um, I've already done the math. Each printing program and computer printer is a little bit different, but I know when I use Adobe Reader and my Mac and this printer that to get the absolute best size for me, it's 111%. So you might have to do a couple of test prints to find exactly the best one for your printer. But if you print 100%, you'll get them a little bit smaller. You can actually make them bigger very easily. So in your printing settings, so I hit print. Now I'm going to go scale 1, 1, 1, 111%. Make sure that it is landscape, not pull, uh, portrait. Portrait, landscape. You want landscape. So I click 111% landscape for my printer and I'm just going to print, I'm not going to print them all right now, I'm just going to print uh, the first two pages just to give you an idea. And now we'll wait for the magic of Wi-Fi to go from a computer to a printer. My Wi-Fi sucks here, that's okay. Just gives us extra time to sit and chat. I'm ready to print. It's coming along. So what I do when it prints out, it's going to print to like that. And then what I'm going to do is take my slicer and I'm going to cut any excess off if there is any. If you make it absolute perfect, you don't even have to make that cut. You can do it with two cuts, which is the best. So if you get to two cuts, you're doing a really good job and you're going to have really good shows with nice bingo cards. Um, I always give out uh, daubers or markers. I give people, sometimes the bingo daubers are a little bit messy for people, especially I find the older generations prefers just a marker. So I give them an option. I give them both. Um, and then there's, you see there's free spaces and I give them out. This is why we do a test one. Ready to print. Oh, sorry. I had to hit resume printer. It was paused for whatever reason. So what I'm going to do is cut off any excess. I'm going to cut off excess on the bottom, which there will be. And then I cut it in half. And there you go. Um, 
It can be intimidating making big stacks for a big party, or it seems like it, but honestly, once you get moving, once you get a good system and you figure out how to use your slicer well, it, uh, it's really easy, really easy. So go to fatcityentertainment.com, find your favorite uh, games. We've got lots of new games. We're launching new ones every month. Girls vs. Boys, TV shows, uh, what else have we got? Food Fight, Body Parts is hilarious. Body Parts is a really fun one. It's kind of uh, adult themed, but not really. I mean, if you consider My Dingling by Chuck Berry adult. All right, so that's pretty good. There's a, just a little bit of excess there, but it, I don't want to make it any bigger because I lose a little bit over here. So I think that looks all right. So I'm going to just show you how to do this. And this slicer actually cuts 10 pieces of paper at the same time. So I'm going to make that just the same as on my other side. One. Should have done more than one at a time. Let me show you. Two. But you can do, yeah, you can do up to 10. Usually I do less than that because a big stack is uh, sometimes it gets a little bit funky. I do about five or six and at a time I just power through and I do this. Maybe this wasn't my best example. I might have to do this. But there you go. Anyways, pretty good. I think I could have done better. Maybe I'm going to print some more off and do them a little bit nicer. But you can see that, you know, that's completely sufficient in about 10 seconds of cutting over there and you're good to go. Once, you're, once you get good at it, you're going to have nice big stacks, body parts you can see there. They all look good. And people love these, you know, when you hang out, they're very colorful. They've got all the songs, their favorite songs. People start, start looking at them and they start thinking about the songs even before you've played them. And then you follow us on Spotify, or we're going to be on Apple Music and everything else very soon. So just follow one of our Fat City Entertainment playlists. Got the cards ready to go. You're hosting a music trivia night uh, that's going to kick butt in no time. All right, I'll see you in the next video. We're going to do a lot more training, so definitely follow Dusty Ramsbottom and Fat City Entertainment on social media so you can find out about our uh, next tutorials. Thanks, see you soon.